Hello everybody, it's Mark from Don Mott Leisure Kingdom. Thank you for joining me today here at the showground at Don Mott Leisure in Hilton. So this afternoon I have for you, for all of you campervan fans, a six metre 2017 Knaus Box Life 600MQ. So this one is from 2017, it's a 2.3 130 horsepower manual gearbox and um, it's on a Fiat chassis uh, so we've got these really really nice uh, black and chrome finished Fiat alloy wheels it is a four traveler four sleeper but it's got a different interior so I'll show you more about that on the other side uh, Knaus is a continental manufacturer so you will always find the habitation door on the driver's side of the van so please be aware of that and it also has an electric step uh, it's a big wide electric step on the Knaus van so it makes accessibility really really good um, when you move a little bit further around the van just to the top you can see that this has already got a digital television aerial fitted and the water filler uh, says Wasser there in German uh, is on the driver's side of the vehicle as well taking you into a really big internal water tank uh, this one's also got reverse parking sensors and a tow bar um, and then you've got these big barn doors do I want to show you the interior yet yeah, yeah let's so you've got these really big barn doors when you open these up the windows have already got fitted blackout blinds and fly nets but then the nice thing about this van one of the nice things about the many nice features this vehicle has is it's got a huge transverse fixed bed with lots and lots of garage space and storage space underneath it now the plinth at the back the two plinths they are removable so they will slide up and slide out um and the bed is really really well brilliantly reinforced you've got a ladder that's also part of the front feature of the vehicle but we'll show you more about that when we get around there and then you've got these big storage lockers over the top as well and this real cute led light strips uh smoke alarm and co2 monitor already in there and then in the top you've also got a skylight uh with blackout blind and fly net fitted underneath the little hatch that wendy is uh, staring at <laughs> is a 12 volt socket just there and then you've got the little speakers that travel the sound from the front of the van as well and then you've got these uh yeah just there you can actually push that in and you can extend the rear doors as well so always handy for a little bit of extra privacy when you're on the campsite and then uh, you've got these nice uh, tinted windows of privacy glass into the back there as well um illuminated garage space as well and then you've got these tether points down so if you are putting bikes and bits and bobs like that uh, in the back then you can do uh, so if I shut these doors up there we go we will go round to the passenger side of the vehicle so we have toilet cassette just inside here uh, trimmer boil event so it's got the blown air heating system in there as well uh, inside here is your gas locker so space for your gas tanks and then your electric hookup point as demonstrated at the minute is just on the passenger side of the van as well and then here uh, is your diesel filler and this vehicle is 2017 so it doesn't have add blue um, the passenger seat and the driver's seat both swivel but what we're going to do is make our way around to the interior and i will show you the special feature of this van making it a four sleeper hiya so thank you for joining me again so now if I go inside, so this van is a four traveller, four sleeper. So what we've done is you've got these two travelling seat belts here, driver's seat and passenger seat here, and then above the cab you can see this fold down bed. So what I've done is we've positioned the seats to already show you how you need to have them to use the drop down bed. You lift the table very gently, slide it backwards on the rail to the furthest point it can go to, and then just above the door here, when you're plugged into the mains and you've got your power on, this button here, I think that means, attention, don't be a ninny and try and use the bed when, it's, uh, <laughs> when you're on it. Um, something like that. So what we do is we have positioned the driver's seat and passenger seat where we need them to be. Push the down arrow. And if you watch underneath there, they should just clear the headrest so the headrest fold into the side and then you get it so <laughs> this section of the bed pulls out and then what you want to do is push the button and bring that down just so this stop sits on there so it gives you additional support and then so you've got the nettings that clip onto the side and then what you've got is this extra cushion here that sits in just there 
and then at the back here we've got that so the headrest flips up so it's head end feet end and then you can just shimmy your way off if or go down the ladder if you need to get into the bathroom and the toilet <laughs> of an art tub so it's isn't it? yeah so then we're putting this away so all we do is lift gently pop that on the top make sure the straps are out of the way give it a shove back and then what we do is push the button and push it back up out of the way and this van is brilliant so considering it's a small van it will travel for sleep for with two double beds and it still only weighs three and a half ton yeah. and i'm getting a little bit conscious you can see up my nose from that angle Wendy. <laughs> um so what we'll do is i'll take it up as far as i can get it at the minute there we go and then down on the cab so this one's got the pioneer head unit upgrade so oh, you've got access to uh, plug in a smartphone for the navigation controls on the steering wheel for the dab radio bluetooth all that sort of stuff as well and you've got um air conditioning on the cab and it's got cruise control uh, leather bolsters on the seats and then like we say you've got this big dining table that we lift up slide across and then underneath here you can just see you've got the extension to the table so that swings out as well so it turns it into a real nice sort of like four traveller um four dinette as well and i can't find the handle to pull it down and put the table back there it is there we go so that swings round and then you've got storage compartment down the side lots of storage lockers in the front of the kitchen we pull out knives and fork knife and fork drawers as well uh, so that's just an access hatch the drawers won't pull out from that side yet no. and then uh, so you've got a two ring gas hob run hot and cold running water really nice light size sink and a plug in there as well this nice illuminated led panel so the light's nice and soft as well and you've also got a fly screen on the back there as well uh, storage locker over the top storage locker to the bottom as well and then you've got your fridge freezer which is just here Nicely yeah really really nice so it's at a good level as well big hanging storage locker uh, with a hanger in there and you've also got your uh, aerial which you can move up and down on the van as well and then to this size I'll go down there and show you. Uh, so you've got the wet room so in here uh, your tap makes your shower head and you've got a really nice size mirror in here as well blind over the window so most van conversions don't come with a uh, window in the bathroom but this one does so the tap sits in there and the curtain pulls all the way around here so you're in your own little shower pod as well um but it's absolutely lovely and then you can see the bedroom with the plimps we were talking about from outside as well and uh yeah look it's really really cute um but it's um it's a brilliant van it's, uh, yeah it's a real lovely conversion canals really do make a quality conversion there's also an avtex telly in here as well um but it's really really nice it's brilliantly laid out it's a really clever van and it's superb for a family of four that want something a bit small or even a couple that want to have the option of taking the grandkids kids uh, or just have friends and relatives come and stay every now and then um it's absolutely brilliant uh six meters three and a half ton manual gearbox 130 horsepower just over thirteen thousand miles for a 2017 vehicle is absolutely fantastic as well and it's available to view on site so um if you'd like any more help or information, my name's Mark. Um, feel free to give me a call and ask for me. I do not bite occasionally, um, and uh, it's wonderful. So uh, yeah, feel free anytime you want to get in touch. Please do, and I will speak to you soon. Thanks for your time.